Today, we're gonna to talk about which backend programming language you should learn. Which backend programming language should I learn? Java, .NET, PHP, Node.js? There seems to be a high demand for full stack developers in my city. I have studied front end development, but so far the only companies that reached out to me were interested in full stack developers. I know HTML, CSS, JavaScript, jQuery, Bootstrap, and some minimum experience with React. What are your thoughts? Here's the one thing that I want to congratulate you on that you realize that maybe some more stuff that you still need to know. And front stack or for, uh, the front end is probably not good enough to get a job. You are correct. There are way more full stack web dev jobs out there than there are for front end only. And that's what you're finding out. And so those front end only jobs are, are probably occupy people that have more experience than you do. So you're trying to break into the industry. Um, and so you've done so much to do that. And so now you're recognizing, hey, I need to learn a back end language so I become a full stack web dev so I can break into the industry. And you're absolutely 100% correct on that. At Coder Foundry, we teach NBC.net, um, and that's our back, uh, back end coding language. And so that teaches uh, our students to be full stack web devs. So that's what I want to encourage you to do is to pick up a back end language. The one that we recommend is .NET. Now, .NET is built by Microsoft. And here's a couple of things you need to know about .NET. Number one, Microsoft has spent well over $2 billion on the .NET platform. And so now, even now today, as I was recording this video, Core 3 and soon to be .NET 5 will be truly cross-platform, which means I can write it on Mac, it can run on Linux, um, it also runs on the Windows platforms. I can build web apps with it, and I also can build mobile. And with Unity, I can even build video games with it. So C Sharp, learning C Sharp and utilizing the .NET framework makes you a very versatile developer, including a full stack web dev, but you could take a desktop job, you could take other types of jobs as well. So here's the things you need to do to actually get a job. So the first thing you need to do is have a portfolio that demonstrates that you have full stack web dev capabilities, which means you need a project that solves a business problem that uses that backend language like C Sharp and has a database um, built on SQL and then publish that somewhere that they can find it either in Azure or AWS or something like that. Um, you notice that people are reaching out to you. That insinuates to me that you're actually applying for jobs. And what I would say is continue that effort and I applaud you for doing that, but find a recruiter that will work with you that that recruiter can arrange interviews for you. You are very, very close to filling your dreams of being a software developer. What I would do is pick a project, and you can watch one of our videos, The One Project to Rule Them All, that talks about that, and you know enough probably to build that project right now and picking up C Sharp and learning at the same time. And then you would have that portfolio that demonstrates your full stack web dev and work with a recruiter so that you can win a coding interview. And that's what we want you to do. If you have problems with that, reach out to us. We would love to help you on your journey. Um, and if you want more learning, obviously we can come to a bootcamp, but I think you're close enough to where you could probably build this one project and start marketing yourself as a full stack web dev and take those jobs that are being offered to you. Anyway, whatever you do, good luck and keep coding. <music>